everyone, welcome to another Excel Chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about how to count the number of columns within a table. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, this is a very simple, quick video, very to the point. So we basically have a table right here in this Excel file. I can zoom in a little bit for you. Uh, and we basically just want to count the number of columns that we see here. So obviously, this is very simple because we see the table. It's just three columns, but I'm going to walk through it right now. Uh, so equals columns. The formula is relatively self-explanatory. Now it's asking for the array. So the array is just the whole table. So I'm just going to highlight the whole table here. Or excuse me, I will uh, minus the headers. And as you can see, it's return three. One, two, three, three columns. It's as simple as that. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it, it's great if you create a table and then you label it. Uh, it's a lot easier. So if I hit equal columns this is especially helpful if you have a massive table and you can't even highlight all of it instead you want to name that table and say okay uh equals columns and then i can just put table one and it has already highlighted table one for me and i hit enter and it's giving me three columns as three total columns we can see it right there so you can use equal columns and use the array function or equal columns and then just put the name of the table and that's the uh, method I recommend, especially if the table is really massive. Uh, so this has been an Excel chat walkthrough video. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to watch again next time. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel chat.